2030. Yeah, that's not a typo. 11 years from now is not that long, but we believe that somehow we can predict the future as far as it goes for popular sneakers and signature lines. Let's say it's 2008, 11 years ago. Which are the best signature lines? Jordans, Kobe's, AI's, and then a guy like Kanye decides to design sneakers and his line becomes the thing. 11 years later, Kanye is the king, Jordan Brown thrives through all its re-releases and sometimes the new stuff, and LeBron, KD and Kyrie have taken over. All the hot names in the NBA, pushed by the major sports apparel brand in the world, Nike, plus a pop icon and infamous hip-hop artist, dictate the trends of sneakers. Now, let's take a ride into the future. I'm Steph from 99sneakers and today I'm going to be your captain in this really weird journey to 2030. Let's assume that we will still walk, that we will still wear shoes, shoes with laces, you know, like the ones 99.9% .9 of us own. And let's assume that all new technologies that will have been implemented in the industry by then will not disrupt streetwear and that all these words like hype, signature lines, design will not be irrelevant. So, who would you bet your money on to carry on your sneaker legacy by that time and who will be the new entry in that prestigious list? King James is going to reign for the years to come even if he's not getting any more rings, which is doubtful by the way, even if he inevitably sees his numbers falling at some point during the next 2-3 years. LeBron is not just an athlete, he's not a guy who just dribbles the ball. His fame is only fueled by his new adventure in La La Land and his myth is only going to be bigger and bigger by retiring as a Laker. Plus, I would definitely predict his retirement is not going to happen before 2025. Yes, at least 40 is the time for him, since his mind is full of basketball knowledge and his body is so well preserved like no other big body in the history of the sport has ever been. Let alone that his line might as well be continued by his elder son, who is coming hot to his steps. A trajectory which leads to the NBA and to his father's ultimate goal to play in the NBA with his son. Yeah, his shoes have already 16 successful years of history and many more are about to come. This is a safe bet. Another quite safe bet. Kyrie is the most popular basketball star among the new generation, the reason probably being relatability. His first five shoes are awesome and have already gained fans in the sneakerhead community. Wherever you hoop, you see people wearing his shoes, the signature line shoes or even the lower priced fly traps and others. All these kids who grow up idolizing this guy are going to become adults in 11 years with much more dollars in their hands. And guess what will they do? They will still be buying shoes to even a higher degree like my generation did with Jordans, which at some point we might not have been able to afford, but now we can. At least until Nike overprices them again and again. If Kyrie continues his career like that and cements his legacy with more titles, especially with his own team, then the sky is the limit. Wow, you didn't see that coming, did you? Travis is only collaborating so far with brands and has not even one shoe under his belt, so how on earth would you believe that he's going to be that important in 11 years? Well, my prediction is that Travis is going to be huge through these next years and my first proof is how successful his latest tour, Astroworld Wish You Were Here, has been. And when a hip-hop artist is getting that big, his influence in society isn't just going to be artistic or lyrical, his influence is going to be cultural. The success in the collaborations he had with Nike is a big indicator that people would easily buy a shoe with his name on. So why not extend this charisma into sneaker designing, 
or even better, sneaker selling. The only Adidas guy in the list is not chosen because we wanted to fill in the blank with a guy from the Three Stripes brand. Mitchell is a really likable guy with a social charisma and he's really, really, really young. He's new in the league and he has just signed his first shoe with Adidas, the all new DON, aka Determination over Negativity. Of course, we cannot really project how things will turn out for his career after only a year and a half, but the path he's on is a really interesting one. Leader of his team from day one, playing the playoffs from his first year in the league, and a guy with a fearless spirit that the sophomore player rarely shows to the world. The kid has a bright future and Adidas has better invested in him long term because in the next years he will become big. So that's our prediction. What do you think the future will hold for us? Is it going to be another star player entering the league like Zion Williamson? Or a star of today like Yanis Adetokounmpo that will be big in 11 years? And will Kanye still be relevant? Or a Kendrick Lamar or maybe another guy? will be creative enough in streetwear and will change the game. Tell us what you think by leaving a comment down below. Liking the video and subscribing to our channel would mean the world. Thanks for viewing.